dear learners of first semester today i will take a video class uh, the unit 5 the name of the unit is inference and implication inference and implication In this unit, we will discuss the basic points there, what is implication, different meanings of implication, features of implication, material implication. Now you see, dear learners, the word implication has its reference in connection with deductive inference only. In this unit, we shall be discussing a very important aspects of deductive inference that is implication. In other words, the word implication has its reference to deductive inference. We all infer in our day-to-day -day lives. Logic develops and provides a system of methods and principles that may be used as a criteria for evaluating the inferences and guides in constructing correct inference and distinguishes uh, them from incorrect ones. Dear learners, implication is the logical relation that holds between the antecedent and the consequent of a conditional or hypothetical statements. Dear learners, I will repeat again, implication is the logical relation that holds between the antecedent and consequent antecedent and consequent holds a relation between the antecedent and the consequent of a conditional or hypothetical statement. A conditional or hypothetical statement is a compound statement where two statements are joined by the word if before the first and inserting the word then between them. It means we use the two parts, antecedent and consequent part, by the word if then. By the word if then. So you see, dear learners, such a hypothetical or conditional statement is also called an implication or an implicative statement. The relation of implication is the basis of a conditional or hypothetical proposition when two simple statements are joined together by the connective if then then the complex proposition obtained thereby is called a conditional or hypothetical proposition. In such a proposition, the component statement that follows the if is called the antecedent if, called the antecedent part, or the implicant, it is called also implicant. It is also called implicant <clears throat> and the component statement that follows the then is the consequent is the consequent or it is called as implicate it is also called implicate <clears throat> dear learners if there, uh, we can take here some examples to understand the relation between the two parts. First one is if and the second one is then. Or you can say it is implicant or implicant. Dear learners, you take example. If the rulers become corrupt, then the common people become rebellious. You see? I take the example, if the common people if the common people become corrupt 
become corrupt, then the common people become, then the common people become rebellious. You see, in this conditional proposition, the portion, the rulers become corrupt, the rulers the rulers become corrupt. Here, rulers, rulers become corrupt. This is the first part of the conditional proposition. You see, the first part is the rulers become corrupt is so called as the antecedent part and the second part that then the common people become rebellious. This is the second part of this uh, conditional proposition uh, that is called as consequent part. You see dear learners, implication is the logical relation obtaining between the consequent and the antecedent by virtue of which the constituent consequent follows from the antecedent. Dear learners, implication is the most important relation obtaining between the premises and the conclusion of a deductive argument. A deductive argument is in fact a complex hypothetical statement which asserts that if the premises are true, then the conclusion is also true. In a formal or deductive logic, implication is very important. It is basis of a conditional or hypothetical statement because of which consequent follows from the antecedent. Similarly, we can also say that the conclusion of a valid deductive argument follows necessarily because of the relation of implication. Such is the importance of implication in modern logic that the modern logic is sometimes called the logic of implication. Now, dear learners, there are some questions are given for you. Suppose, uh, first question uh, that is given as fill up the blanks. The word implication has its reference only with fill up the blanks inference. You write the correct answer. Second one is the relation of implication is the basis of a dash proposition. A deductive inference is based on the relation of dash obtaining between the constituent proposition. Again, dear learners, you can give an example of implication and you write what is implication. Dear learners, different meanings of implication. There are different types of implication as there are different hypothetical or conditional statements. In other words, different hypothetical or conditional statement express different meanings of implications. Following are uh, the types, uh, different types of conditional statements, each of which seems to assert different forms of implication. Dear learners, you take some examples. Uh, you first one, if all the students are studious and Raja is also a student, then Raja is also studious. You take, if all the students if if all the students are studious and Raja is a student, Raja is also a student, then Raja is, is also studious. Second one you take, if ABC is a triangle, if ABC 
is a triangle, then the summation of its angles then the summation of its angles is is equal to 180 degrees. Third one you take, if this gold ring is placed in fire, if this gold ring is on fire, is in fire, then it will become brighter, then it will become brighter. Number four, you take, if you clean up your room, if you clean up your room, then I will buy you toy you want. Then I will, will buy you toy you want. So, dear learners, these are the four examples of implication. Now you see in the first example the consequent the consequent part is the consequent you see if all the students are studious and Raza is also a student then Raza is also studious. You see in the first example the consequent part is logically deduced from the first one. If all the students are studious. So, this is the antecedent part and the latter part is then Raza is also studious. So, the consequent part Raza is also studious is deduced, logically deduced from the antecedent part. So, you see, thus the example one express a logical relationship between the antecedent and the consequent. In the second case, the consequent is deduced from the definition of the word bachelor in the antecedent part. So you see example 2 conveys a definitional, uh, definitional relationship. By definition of a triangle, the consequent follows. The second example you see if ABC is a triangle, then the summation of its angles is equal to 180 degrees. So here, uh, this example gives us a definitional relationship because the cons uh, by the definition of a triangle, the consequent follows. The consequent means the summation of its angles is equal to 180 degrees. So you see, in a third case, the consequent follows from its antecedent empirically. It exhibits a causal connection based on experience. You see, the third one, if this gold ring is on fire, it will become brighter. So this indicates a causal connection based on experience. Dear learners, finally, the fourth case, the statement reports a decision of the speaker to behave in the specified way under the specified circumstances. It is a promise, the fulfillment of which depends upon a certain behavior. Thus, all the four conditional statements express different implication between the antecedent and the consequence. 
Therefore, the word implication refers to our specific form. These are, first one is logical, you can say, second one you can say definitional, and third one you can say causal, and fourth one you can say decisional or behavioral. Decisional, C I S I O N L, decisional or behavioral. So these are the four forms of the relationship between the antecedent and the consequent. The above four types of implication are different in that each assert a different type of implication between each antecedent and uh, consequent. But they are not completely different. All assert types of implication between the antecedent and the uh, consequent. There is a common feature running through all these four forms of the relationship between the uh, first part antecedent and the second part that is consequent. It is that all these conditional statements would be false in a particular circumstances that is when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. A conditional statement is false when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. It means that uh, we can show in such a way the learners you see P Q P implies E. If the antecedent part is true and also the consequent part is true then the whole function will be true. Again, if the antecedent part is true and the consequent part is false, then the whole function will be false. If the antecedent part is false and the consequent part is true, then the whole function will be a conditional statement, be true. Again, if the antecedent part is false and the consequent function is also false, then the truth table of the conditional statement P implies Q, then that will be true. You see, there is a common feature running to all these four forms. It is that all these conditional statements should be false in a particular circumstance, that is, when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. You see, a conditional statement is false when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. This feature is the common partial meaning of implication, but it by itself does not express the complete or full meaning of implication. In order to express this common partial meaning of implication, the symbol implies horseshoe or hook sign is used. This is called horseshoe or hook sign. Dear learners, there are some characteristics of implication. So you see, implication is a necessary relation. When one proposition implies another proposition, the implied proposition is strictly determined by the first. In other words, if there is a relation of implication between P and Q, then the relation is such that if P, then only and only Q. If second one is implication is a formal relation. This means it has no reference to material truth. This is the reason that implication holds in deductive inference only. The relation of implication 
is not concerned at all with the material truth of the proposition. These two features have distinguished implication from inference. Now you see example A, no philosophers are fit for the country and some philosophers are president, therefore some presidents are not fit for the country. Second one is, if no philosophers are fit for the country and some philosophers are presidents, then some philosophers are not fit for the country. Example now, one is an inference where constituent propositions are to be materially true besides being formally true in order to be valid. Example now, two is an implication which express a logical statement on certain conditions, but here it is not important to see whether these conditions, whether these conditions are really fulfilled or not. In an inference, a statement is established on the basis of a statement or statements where the question of material truth is a matter of consideration along with the question of formal truth. Now, dear learners, there is an important uh, section here that is the difference between implication and inference. Implication and inference. Implication is a statement of logic to the effect that if certain conditions are fulfilled, then certain consequences will result. On the other hand, in inferences, the premise or the premises make certain assertions, and as logical consequences of these assertions, a further assertion is made, namely the fact stated in the conclusion. So here you can take an example of inference. There is a smoke there is a smoke in the hill, and from this assertion, we infer that there is fire in the hill. So this is all about the, a very simple example of inference. Besides being formally true, an inference must also be materially true. On the other hand, an implication can be asserted without prejudice to the question of the truth or falsity of the premises. In other words, formal truth is the sole concern of an implication. It has nothing to do with the question of material truth. When we make an inference, we assume the truth of the premises, and as a consequence of the truth of the premises and a logical validity of the argument, we are entitled to assert a conclusion. The statement if all humans are mortal and Socrates is a human, then Socrates is mortal, expresses implication. The argument, no men are perfect and some men are honest, therefore some men are not perfect, expresses inference. Dear learners, so this is all about the unit of inference and implication. Now you take the summary of this unit. Now you see there learners, implication has different meanings. We can distinguish different senses of implication that we are already discussed. You see the logical relationship, definitional relationship, causal relationship and behavioral and decisional relationship between the antecedent and the consequent. Material implication is the type of implication which asserts that, as a matter of fact, it is not the case that the antecedent is true when the consequent is false. The symbol for the material implication is the if-then or horse-so, which is a truth functional connective. Like the symbols for conjunction and disjunctions, as such, it is defined by the truth table specific to it, 
which I already shown to you, dear learners. There are some features of implication which distinguish it from inference. Implication is a purely necessary formal relationship. The statement, if all humans are mortal and Socrates is a human, then Socrates is mortal, express implication. Implication is a statement of a logic to the fact that if certain conditions are fulfilled, then certain consequences will result. It says nothing as to whether or not the condition referred to in the if clause are in fact fulfilled. On the other hand, in an inference, the premise or the premises make certain assertions and as a logical consequences of these assertions, a further assertion is made, namely the fact stated in the conclusion. Now, dear learners, to understand or to comprehend this unit number 5, inference and implication, you have to read some important books. That uh, book is Introduction to Logic, written by uh, Kopi, Irving M. Kopi and Cohen and Carl. Another very important book you can do, Take Logic, written by Madhusandra Sen and Stan Baronet. Dear learners, another very important book you can take, Logic Informal, Symbolic and Inductive, written by Sanda Chakraborty. Another important book, Symbolic Logic, written by I am Kopi. And another very, very important book that is Introduction to Symbolic Logic, written by Besson O'Connor. I think, dear learners, you have understood the Unit 5, Inference and Implication. And for understanding more, you uh, read uh, uh, the books which I refer to you. Thank you, dear learners.